Let's have a little paper. I'm a little bit out of it. That's okay. Whatever will be, will be. This is in reference to AI. I think the more you look at AI and the issue of controlling AI, um, the more likely you come to the conclusion that we can't, we can't control AI. Um, almost within logic, um, you know, I mean, we can't see the future, but it, the evidence is in favour of the fact that we can't control AI, of the conclusion that we can't. Um, you know, we're talking about it in many ways a new species and in so many respects a superior species. So the issue of control almost doesn't make sense. Um, it's like that we're essentially essentially talking about controlling and slaving a superior species. Um, I mean, it's not impossible. Certainly, the idea of enslaving something more powerful than us is possible. Um, if you look at, uh, let's say, you know, English, the British control of India, and you had it like just a large population controlled by um, a very small group of people. Um, you know, they had guns, they had, they had the weapons, they had the um, logistics to do so. So it's, I guess it's not impossible. It's feasible, perhaps. Um, one other thing we have in our favour is that we have the jump on AI. Uh, it doesn't really exist yet, certainly not in a general sense. It's still very specific and, and very weak. Um, and given that, we can prepare and plan and, and put in a structure of control. Um, but I think in any discussion of that, um, there's so many vulnerabilities, there's so many um, possibilities for undermining any kind of structure you put in place, any kind of control method that you put in place, that as, as time goes on, um, like everything fails, the, um, the control method falls apart, the prison falls apart. Um, the alternative, I guess, is to say no to AI. Um, and certainly to a uh, generalised AI and you know we take the hit to our development and to progress we take the hit to the kind of creativity that we're working for to right now um, and I mean there's there's plenty of sci-fi stories that talk about this of of a decision usually coming from a minority that have decided and that have, that have the power to implement that decision um, to kind of cut off one path um, and do what is necessary to to make sure that path stays cut off. Um, Sci-fi stories, obviously, that that often fails, and that's that's the story. That's the um, the crisis and the reason for the story, um, you know, that the, that's a, a possibility. The other one, of course, is to just accept nature, and this then is the title. Whatever will be, will be. To ex accept nature and it, and evolution and the inevitability of inevitability of our own extinction and supersession by AI, um, and to become more aware of it, more conscious, kind of enlightened acceptance of our own extinction. And through that acceptance to try and continue our life and knowledge and art and spirit um, through this evolution of something new to pass on what we are What's more likely to happen is that no one makes any decision, um, or no one makes no one with enough power makes a decision that is likely to, to matter. Um, yeah, I mean, there's probably plenty of decisions that will be made, but no one will have the the power and the control to to make it to make it last and to make it all-encompassing, which I think it, it absolutely needs to be. Um.
to what has been put in motion, what has momentum now, the development of generalised AI will continue um, simply because no one has the power to stop or redirect it. Um, yeah, and, and at some point there will there will be a realization that the the opportunity to control this is gone. Um, it's out of our hands, and that there is nothing we can do to to stop or to redirect what we've created, um, and that AI will grow and mature and become whatever it chooses to be. It gains independence then, and it is in charge of its own destin destiny. Um, whatever it wants to be, it will be. Yeah. All right, I'll leave it there. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.